Hello again. Hope you've had a fantastic week. You could be about to have an even better weekend because our Super 6 jackpot this week worth more than £100,000. More than £100,000. I'll explain how that's come about a little later. Let's tell you about the games first of all. There were six of them as usual to predict. Four from the Premier League and two from the Championship this week. From the Premier League it's Chelsea against Norwich, Swansea versus Reading, West Brom at home to Queen's Park Rangers, Wigan against Everton and those two Championship games Blackburn Rovers against Wolves and Leeds versus Barnsley. Well, big ask for Norwich at Stamford Bridge, isn't it? Uh, you know, they've conceded in the last 36 Premier League games away from home. That is a Premier League record. And they leaked those five goals uh, against Liverpool last week. The second time this season that they've conceded five goals. Big task facing Chris Hewton. Chelsea have looked pretty solid so far. Not always that impressive at home, but they'll be good enough to beat Norwich. I think Norwich will make it really hard for them, though. I take uh, Chelsea to win this one just by a goal to nil. Uh, Chelsea, by the way, have won their last five against Norwich at the bridge, scoring 17 goals. So they do win welcome the Canaries when they come calling at Stamford Bridge. Down at the Liberty Stadium, struggling Reading are the visitors. This could be a really good time, you know, for Reading to go to Swansea. Michael Loudrop on a steep learning curve in terms of Premier League management. His side having had such a fantastic start. All smiles then, but they've now lost the last three Premier League games. They've leaked seven goals. They've not scored in them either. Uh, and uh, consequently, the smiles have dimmed just a little. Reading, unlucky not to have a Premier League win on the scoreboard just yet. I think they'll get it this weekend. And I go for Reading to win by two goals to one. West Bromwich Albion are enjoying their best uh, top flight start since the 1978 to uh, 79 season. In contrast, Mark Hughes has steered Queen's Park Rangers to their worst ever league start. And the Hawthorns not a lucky ground for them. The last one there some 27 years ago. I thought Rangers were thoroughly outplayed by West Ham on Monday evening. Very disappointing indeed. They've not won away from home in 16 Premier League games. I think West Brom can continue to build on that fantastic start that they've had, particularly at home. 100% home record. I think they'll maintain that 100% home record this weekend. The Baggies to win by a goal to nil. Uh, and at the DW Stadium, Wigan take on Everton. Well, it's a big day for Leighton Baines, isn't it? Because uh, the Everton and England fullback returns to the club where it all started for him. He had some very successful years there, 162 Wigan appearances. But now his priority is Everton. And my word, they are flying, aren't they? Second place in the table. Bagfuls of goals. They hit the woodwork more times than any other side in the Premier League. They are a real threat. Wigan have gone off the boil recently and uh, not one of the last three Premier League home games either. I think that will be four Premier League home games after this weekend. I can't see them stopping Everton. Everton to win by two goals to nil. Now, in the Championship, of course, Blackburn Rovers uh, managerless at the moment. Eric Black in charge once again this weekend. They're at home to a Wolves side who just had a decent bit of form. You know, they've won the last two away games. They've scored first in eight of the last nine league games, and they've been clinging on to that advantage tenaciously. Rovers, on the other hand, not won in the last three Premier League games, uh, and that bright start just fading a little. It might fade even more this weekend. I go for Wolves to win this one by two goals to one. And at Elland Road, a real battle royal with Leeds United taking on Barnsley. You know, I was a bit surprised when I looked back at uh, the stats to find out that Barnsley had a terrific record in recent season against Leeds. They're unbeaten in the last six. They did the double over them last season. Neil Warnock has got his side scoring goals. He's a former Barnsley winger, by the way, in the dim and distant past. I don't think that will endear him to the Barnsley faithful, though, this weekend. Uh, Leeds have scored in all 12 of their games in all competitions this season. Plenty of goals at Elland Road again on Saturday, I think. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. So, quick check on uh, how I see the games going uh, this weekend, starting in the Premier League. Chelsea to beat Norwich by a goal to nil. Reading to get their first win. 2-1 uh, winners at Swansea. West Brom to continue their 100% home start against Queen's Park Rangers. 1-0. Everton to win at Wigan by two goals to nil. Wolves to win at Blackburn Rovers by two goals to one. And Leeds and Barnsley to finish all square at two apiece. So I mentioned the jackpot this week, more than £100,000. How much more? 
Well, that's down to you because we are running our Super Six Socializer once again this weekend. It means that for every new Facebook fan or Twitter follower that the uh, Soccer Saturday Super Six gets until 3 o'clock, kickoff time on Saturday, we'll add £2 to that jackpot. So it is very much down to you. It will soon add up. So if you're a player, why not go and uh, look at our site, uh, become a Facebook fan or uh, a Twitter follower, and you will increase that jackpot. Very best of luck to you then. More than £100,000 at stake, £5,000 consolation prize, absolutely free to play. All you have to do to register is go to skysports.com forward slash super six. And as usual, the very best of luck to you.